clicking on my video. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts. So I thought I would start it off because it is the holiday season and I know last night we spent some time talking about all the holiday cooking that happened, but today we had a fun surprise. Um, Olivia actually released the trailer to her, I guess, holiday vlogmas. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but here it is. Looks like living with the webs is back. Um, I'm not necessarily mad at that, you know. Um, I did like Gerard and Olivia together when they were together, you know, this time last year. Um, I'm just gonna keep fixing my hair because we are going out. I'm just kind of flat ironing it. Um, so here they are as a family. And they, you know, they make a nice couple. And um, let me stop this right there. Um, do you guys watch uh, Be Love's Life? Another mom. Um, but we are not doing B Love's life today. Let's see. Where are we? So yeah, we have the beautiful little Robin. We've got Ryan who is on her feet. Isn't that amazing? We have literally watched Ryan grow up. Um, and there's Christian. And look at Ryan. Um, they do have beautiful children. So there we are right there, the happy couple. Um, so from what they say, they're going to be getting married soon. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on with them. And I'm going to be really honest. I haven't had a lot of time to spend a lot of time kind of watching all of their video. I did watch Olivia's video on... I think it was the day after Thanksgiving, but what I actually ended up seeing was um, when she went into the bathroom to talk about that she was thinking about having another baby and I'm looking at like the clothes and thinking, was that Thanksgiving day? Like, did you actually leave from Thanksgiving meal or at some point to record this video? talking about like the state of your relationship. I think that came out Saturday, so that would be yesterday. Um, and then crying and everything and talking about like, um, you know, I guess vasectomy testers to find out how much like sperm he actually has left and all kinds of stuff like that. Like, girl, he hasn't even been moved in a couple of weeks. So, but I don't know what's going on with Gerard. For him to have been so, like, steadfast, not wanting to have any more kids, to moving back in, and now all of a sudden you're running to CVS and buying, like, sperm testers. I'm just kind of curious, like, how this all happened and why it's so happening so quickly. I mean, is this the 2020 storyline or is this, like, the real deal? Um... I also, in that video, she said she had a miscarriage and not a abortion, um, which I was just kind of like, okay, well, I guess that explains that, but I don't know. I mean, I just don't know how, I don't know. I guess it's sometimes you just kind of have to like suspend disbelief with this couple because there's always so much going on. There's always so much back and forth. Um it's hard to tell like is this real life or is this really a storyline and I think that's what initially frustrated me if you go back to maybe like my initial videos um on this topic you know back in the day it's like 
Olivia, is this like a made for TV TV show or is this really your life? It's just kind of hard to tell and sometimes just even almost feels like a little unbelievable. So I don't know how you guys feel on the topic down below, but it's, you know, for me, that's how I feel. But yeah, so this is what happened today. And so this is the video that I'm talking about right here when she says life update, my relationship status. Um, and you know and in this video it was weird because like the whole video she was doing this playing with her hair you know and it was really strange i feel like sometimes when olivia is not telling the truth Olivia is doing a lot of fidgeting. She's doing a lot of extra explaining. Sometimes she's doing crying. Um, it's just always really weird to me. And then you see there was just a big cut right there where she did some editing. And, you know, editing is, is all part of, you know, creating content in a way. You know, um, sometimes you talk too much, sometimes you talk too little, or sometimes you change your thought or idea or whatever the case might be. And that's completely understandable, but I don't know. I just, sometimes I just don't believe everything that she has to say. So um, that's just, you know, that's my thought, my opinion, um, my commentary. But, you know, this is... Welcome. The man that you love is sticking with you. I mean, it's, see what I mean? Like a couple of months ago, she hated Gerard. A couple of months ago, Gerard was like, abusive. He was not paying child support. He wasn't a good dad. He didn't support her. She didn't love him. He wasn't sexy enough. He's not fun. He doesn't understand me. He doesn't fight for me. All of those things. Like he was so many, so many things she did not like and did not want. I'm just shocked that she's using the terminology of the man that I love. I mean, I don't know. Like you guys tell me, does that even sound right? Um, and it was weird, The about a week or so ago, when she was live and she was talking and Gerard, this is when him and Nisi kind of had that blowout. I think this was that same night, but I had already gotten offline. I was watching, but this is before everything happened with Nisi and all of the yelling and all of the stuff that we know happened and that she recorded and whatever. Um, this off this thing is hot as I don't know what she basically so people in the chat were like he's a jerk he's this and that what happened to x y and z like we thought that you know he was he was no good this and, and she's like guys I don't know why you're saying this about my baby's father I mean it is okay to help your kid's father and I think a lot of people were confused because they were just like, but Olivia, you have been trashing him for the past three months. So now you think we're trashing him when you've been trashing him? Like, which one is it? Like, is it like, what, what? <laughs> we're not trashing him. You've been trashing him. So, um... It's just weird, guys. Um, you know, maybe she did want him back. Maybe this was all just a ploy to get him to move closer, move to Florida, leave his family in Texas. You know, I mean, I'm quite sure if you ask Nisi, that's probably what this has been and is all about at the end of the day, was that she wanted to get closer to her sister, her family, and he wasn't really trying to move and he was okay with her leaving and even packed her up and brought her to her destination. But at the end of the day, um, that she was basically going to make his life miserable until he basically decided that he was going to, um, excuse me, until he decided he was going to um, 
you know, join her in Florida with the kids. And I don't blame them because they've got three beautiful children. And I, like I said yesterday in the live with Tasha, I can't imagine being away from my daughter longer than a day or two. Um, when I have been away from her longer than a day or two, it's painful. And I can only imagine what it's like to not have your kid close by. So, um, I find that hard to believe. Olivia needs a man. Like, she may not need a man, but she's very not motivated when Gerard's not around. You see that she barely gets dressed. She always has on her bonnet. She's laying in bed. She's um, slow to getting the kids to school, things like that. So Olivia needs lots of motivation. I think Gerard being there kind of motivates her. Um, does that mean you need a man? Not necessarily, but, you know, a partner... Uh, someone to help her kind of with the day-to-day -day with being a mom and taking care of those children I I beg to differ okay she said that now the second time is how it needs to be just how she wants it um, that's what I'd like to know. But yeah, guys, um, catch up on this video. I'm not going to watch the whole thing with you. Um, but very, very interesting, um, stuff from Olivia. And, um, I was just watching Jasmine's video. video. So here we go. If you hadn't seen this, um, she is making coffee. I know, um, so, you know, like, um, making coffee on YouTube is kind of a cliche. So, um, for any of you guys out there who think that when you're like making coffee in the kitchen or doing, it's like doing an extreme clean. I mean, so many people make coffee on YouTube and people make coffee different. Um, that's just kind of like a mainstay of YouTube guys. So if you're seeing like one person, another person making coffee, that's just, that's what we do here on YouTube. I mean, what do we, we drink a lot of coffee and we make a lot of coffee and we like to film everything. So I've shown you guys how I make my coffee. I make French press coffee, but she's using the Keurig K-cups. So here we go. Where's he at? So she's got her tree up. He's a superhero. He flew up there. Jasmine sounds horrible. I don't know if she's getting a cold or what. Do you guys know? Oh my God, there he uh -oh. is. Uh-oh, Elf on the Shelf. Is he dead? What was the wish? He said, I wish that I had a wish that I had a wish about Elf, but it didn't bother me. But he bought it. He did? Maya, did he buy it, Maya? Yes. And it looks, and he does like Elf. Yes. I love Vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas is one of my favorite things on YouTube. The kids are super cute. And um, of course we enjoy Vlogmas and we love seeing all the children. It's so sweet. And I think it's one of the best times of the year. And you know, I know Jasmine has been having it rough so I really don't want to even like pour it on too thick. Um, I think we covered it quite a bit yesterday on Tasha's Live. Um, you know, it's just like Jasmine, like, I don't know. We just need, like, it's not even that we need. It's this Jasmine, when you are showing certain parts of your life, I think that it's like become part of her content that she wants to kind of talk about how 
everybody is just on her everybody is criticizing her and it's kind of like you know it's it's now it's just become part of the content that um if you are um if you are um talking about jasmine's channel you are bashing her you know potentially bashing her kids and you know i don't think that that's necessarily the case maybe there are people out there that are doing that i certainly am not um but it's just jasmine you are giving us a certain type of content that is something that us moms just want to like discuss because it's kind of like what is going on and what are you doing and why would you feel compelled to even show us this if you didn't even want it talked about you know that there is going to be reaction videos every time you put up a video and to not think ahead to know that this is going to get a lot of reactions i think is peculiar to me because you get a lot of reaction videos on every video that comes out so it makes me wonder are you doing this on purpose are you baiting the situation and then kind of like oh i don't know what's going on like why is this happening um rather than hmm maybe this is something i shouldn't put out there because a lot of people are going to talk about it and maybe this is probably not the best thing for me i don't know you guys comment down below but guys um I really didn't see a whole lot from Chrissy um, this past week. Um, I think there were a couple of things, but nothing that I don't think hasn't already been covered. Uh, but I am watching. Uh, we are seeing, you know, what's going on. I know last week she did mention she went to go pick up her son in Colorado, I guess, to bring him home for Thanksgiving. And that was all I saw. I don't really know if anything else has come out. I've been busy with my own family. I've been busy unpacking this room, um, my new fl filming room. If any of you guys want to see my filming room, um, I will have a video posted on my main channel, which is Francoise Vlogs, uh, very soon. So you are welcome to come over to that channel. It will be linked in the channel and it will be linked at the end of this video if you would love if you would like to subscribe to both channels um if you enjoyed this content today please let me know if you have other videos or other channels you'd like for me to react to please comment on them down below um i will be covering the three moms on this channel but i will be covering more moms i will be covering moms that i like to watch um Moms that I think are super inspirational, motivational, moms that have a lot to offer us, um, as well as the moms who keep us talking, the moms that keep um, the conversation going, which definitely happen to be some of these three um, that I've mentioned today. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend. And also, um, don't forget to put your notifications on so you will know as soon as I post another video. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. Hey, guys, if you are not yet subscribed to my main channel, you can find me at Francoise Vlogs, where I daily vlog. I'm currently um, in the middle of Vlogmas, which started today. And you can also find lots of shopping, grocery hauls, and luxury handbag videos. So if that's anything that you're interested in, come check me out on my main channel. Thank you, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.